Hello everyone, today I'm doing a video on avoid moving to Flagstaff if you can't handle these 10 facts because I don't want you to think, ooh, Flagstaff is the best place in the world to live, which I kind of think that myself, and then get to Flagstaff and find out you can't handle these 10 things about Flagstaff. So you're going to want to stay tuned if you have any interest in learning about Flagstaff. And so stay tuned and learn about 10 things to, uh, if you can't handle it, avoid moving to Flagstaff if you can't handle these 10 things. <laughs> Alright, my channel is Living in Northern Arizona, and if you haven't subscribed already, why not? Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and you'll be notified every time I upload a video to this channel. And of course, by watching this channel, you'll learn everything you ever wanted to know about living in the northern half of the state of Arizona, and even sometimes the entire state of Arizona, but mostly focused on the northern half of Arizona. My name's Dawn Dickinson. I sell real estate in northern Arizona, Sedona, Verde Valley, Flagstaff, Prescott, and even Payson. So if you have a real estate question, what happens all the time is people will reach out to me through text, email, phone call, and even if you want to jump ahead in the line, you could go to the description below where I have all my contact information and a link to my calendar and you could set up an appointment where we could do a Zoom call or a phone call and uh, I can answer the real estate questions for you and maybe that will help you eliminate your wondering if uh, moving to Northern Arizona will be the right move for you. So also please hit the like button because that helps other people who are looking for that type of contact to find the channel and find the video and that will just help other people make the decision that you might be pondering yourself. So here you go. Okay, the number one reason to avoid moving to Flagstaff, Arizona would be if you can't handle the snow. So Flagstaff is a mountain town. It's at almost 7,000 foot elevation and we get snow every single year. On average, Flagstaff gets 102 inches of snow in the winter time. And also it does get cold in the dead of winter, you know, like from the winter solstice all the way to, you know, February, it gets very cold. Uh, not freezing like North Dakota, but we could get in the negative, low negative, like negative three, negative five, in the dead of winter when there's no clouds out. So if you can't handle snow and the cold, Flagstaff's not gonna be for you. Now, one thing I would like to point out is it's not like uh, North Dakota or Minnesota where it might snow and then you have the snow the entire winter. In Flagstaff, you will get snow. A snowstorm will run in, rush in, maybe drop a foot of snow, but it does melt pretty quickly. You know, usually within a week it's gone until the next snowstorm comes. So avoid moving to Flagstaff if you can't handle snow. That would be the first thing. Now the second thing is college students. Flagstaff is home of Northern Arizona University. Now I like to say I am an NAU alumnus. I enjoyed going to Northern Arizona University. I got my MBA from there in 1994. So to me, Northern Arizona University is wonderful and I love, you know, seeing the college students. A lot of times they'll work at the restaurants in Flagstaff. So if you don't like college students, I've had people in my other videos, you know, make comments about snotty college students and disrespectful college students. So if you don't like college students, NAU and Flagstaff, not the place to be. I have no problem with college students, but if you do, avoid moving to Flagstaff. Number three is if you have a problem with wildlife. Now, of course, most of the time, wildlife is not in the city limits, you know, like the deer and the elk are often on the outskirts of town. But when I went to NAU back in the 90s, there was a whole family of skunks that lived under the business building. And sometimes you'd be walking to your class and there'd be the skunk on the sidewalk looking at you, staring at you eye to eye and be like, ooh, you'd have to go all the way around, not around the business building, but you know, out into the forest and around to get to your class. So if you don't like wildlife, uh, skunks, and then 
this just happened like three or four days ago. Somebody was posting uh, on my social media account a picture of a black bear roaming through one of the Flagstaff neighborhoods. In fact, running through one of my favorite neighborhoods that I've been looking at houses just kind of watching because I would love to move there. A black bear wandering through the neighborhood. So if you're scared of wildlife or you don't like wildlife, avoid moving to Flagstaff, Arizona. Number four is granolas. Now I know, <laughs> it's a funny term, granolas. Um, it's the type that when I was a kid, my parents called them hippies, you know, type that wear socks with broken stocks. I have no problem with granolas. In fact, I'm kind of a granola at heart myself, although I try not to look too granola-ish most of the time. But if you don't like the granola type, you know, type you might think would be living in Portland or um, Washington, there's a fair amount of granola types that live in Flagstaff. So if you can't handle that type, Flagstaff might not be the place for you. Okay, number five and six would be forest fires. Now, I've lived in Arizona for over 50 years. It just seems like, and this is not true, it's not like we've never had forest fires in Arizona. We've always had them, but just the last few years, man, Flagstaff has been ravished by fires, uh, especially the northern half of Flagstaff. I've seen my friends, you know, having to evacuate their home. You know, they pile all their stuff in their home and they're evacuating all their dogs and cats and, you know, they're scared the house is gonna burn down. Now, in this last wave of fires, people got to go home. Uh, maybe only one house is destroyed, but that's one house too many. So if you're scared of forest fires, you might wanna avoid Flagstaff. Now, the other thing that happens after the forest fire. So, you know, you get fire seasons usually in June. Usually by 4th of July, the rainy season comes in. And that's where the other problem is, is in the area where there's a burn scar, you know, where we just had a fire. If we get a massive rain pour, which would be our monsoon, then you're gonna get pretty hefty flooding in Flagstaff. So if that scares you, definitely want to avoid Flagstaff. And the other thing is just a little bit of tidbit, which you probably already know, but if you're anywhere where there's water crossing, the street um, don't don't drive through it with your vehicle because you know people end up getting killed they get washed down if you're not used to this um, Arizona flooding um, be careful just uh, don't do it but if flooding scares you again uh, don't move to Flagstaff Arizona now number seven I have is traffic Unpredictable traffic. So it's odd because there's not, you know, Flagstaff is small and the traffic is nothing compared to Phoenix or Los Angeles, but you could be driving down Milton on some random time, two o'clock in Arizona. I mean, two o'clock, two o'clock in the afternoon, for instance, and suddenly there's a lot of traffic on Milton. It's backed up and you don't know why. So if you don't like unpredictable traffic patterns, Flagstaff might not be the place for you. So number eight is homeless people. Now, I want to say there are not a lot of homeless people in Flagstaff, but it does seem like in the summertime, I think there's some people that will go to Phoenix in the winter and come up to Flagstaff in the summer, and you might have some panhandling. Again, not a huge number of that, but if you can't stand that, you might want to stay away from Flagstaff. Now, that does remind me of a super funny story. I love when people are creative and I think outside the box, as they used to say when I worked at Intel. So once I was in, in the Target in Flagstaff with my mother and we were leaving and there was this gorgeous man, probably 25 years old, with beautiful flowing curly hair. I, I'm sad that he's a homeless person, but obviously was. And he had a big sign that said, take your picture with me for $5. Now, that was super clever. I was tempted to run out and get a picture just to reward creativity. Um, sometimes you'll see stuff like that. But again, if that bothers you, you might not want to go to Flagstaff. Okay, number nine is that you're gonna have skiing traffic or a lot of people coming into Flagstaff to go to Snow Bowl Ski Resort to go skiing in the winter time because it's also not only a college town, but Flagstaff is a ski town. Now. I wouldn't think anybody would be bothered by this, but I remember when I went to Northern Arizona University, and again, there's a lot of people coming in from out of state 
So one of the students said, oh, I can't stand going to Snow Bowl because that's where all the people from Phoenix come to go skiing for the weekend. So if you're bothered by people from Phoenix coming in to go skiing for the weekend, you certainly might not want to live in Flagstaff. So that's number nine. So number 10, my last thing is that if you don't like the train, you don't like the sound of the train, you don't like driving over train tracks, you don't like driving through downtown Flagstaff and looking to your right or your left and seeing all the train tracks and cars bark there. Uh, personally, I like the sound of the train. It's endearing probably from living in Flagstaff, but if you don't like trains, you don't like the sound of the train, avoid moving to Flagstaff. Okay, that's it. That's my list of the 10 reasons you might want to avoid moving to Flagstaff. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please give me a like and a thumbs up, which is a like, and subscribe. I sell real estate in the northern part of the state of Arizona, so if you have a real estate question, don't hesitate to give me a call, text, email, and I post videos of this nature every single week on the channel, so I hope to see you back here again next week.